Hello, I'm back with another quick answer. This time, I'm not answering a question that was actually asked, but while I was looking at a different problem, I noticed in some of the examples that there was an issue that no one had noticed. And it's related to using orders history total uh, and something that people may not be aware of in the use of that. I have here a script that I'm going to use to demonstrate. It's very simple. I'm just going to get a count of my orders history total, loop through them, uh, if I'm able to select the order, then I'm going to print the position which in the index, uh, the ticket number, profit on that closed order, and the type of order. If something goes wrong with the order select, just for error handling, I'm just going to print that I could not select it. And if I don't find any orders, I'm going to say there is no history to select. Uh, I've already compiled this, but I'll just do it again. And yesterday, just to demonstrate this, I created and closed a number of orders in my demo account here. So you can see that I have an order history. And now if I run, I'll just clear the, if I run this script that I've just written, you can see that it prints each of my orders. They're all buy orders that I placed. Uh, it shows the position, ticket number, profit, and order type. But, and this is the thing that some people don't understand, if I change my history to a custom period, so I'm just going to change it to today only, and this is why I closed all of these orders yesterday, so today I have nothing in my order history. I go back and clear this and run again there is no history to select. So the thing that a lot of people don't realize when you are using the order history functions, you're not going back to the broker to get information. You're only pulling that information from your charts. So if you have limited the account history displayed here, then you're going to limit the results that you get back in your scripts here. So. A quick answer there. Um, I typically, when I am running EAs or indicators that require access to history, I will make sure that I don't modify the view of history in my terminal. Um, I will typically run them in a VPS so that I'm not using them at all. Um, but if you are using it on your desktop and if you're inclined to change this so that you can see a view of particular periods, just remember that you could be affecting any indicators or EAs that you've written.